the Thai government start thinking of um, the development of the uh, light commercial vehicle, it may not be sufficient because the trend of the global look for the environmental friendly. So we try to promote the small car, eco car, and then we shift to the EV. So we can summary at this picture. In, by 2000, the first product champion has been observed and implemented. And then after this one was successful, the Thai government tried to think the next products. And it was in 2003 that had the in, uh, I mean, some conversation among the uh, industrial, I mean the government. And they had get some idea that maybe the small car should be sufficient to promote, to promote uh, the auto industry. And later, 2007, it started with the eco car phase one with Nissan, the first moved. And then after this, we add, uh, add just a little bit to make it the policy, to make it more attractive lower the excise tax to make the, this seg segment become affordable. So this become the main, the main market for the passenger car in Thailand. This may be uh, some, some figure. Before, to, before 2000, two out of three cars sold in Thailand were picked up, 70, 70%. And after this, I mean, in 2010, 40% uh, sale of the new car, passenger car is in this segment, eco car. So you can see that the Thai industrial policy try to promote the product that can achieve scale. But the point is, after we have this, in 2015, the Thai government think of another project and at the time, it, I remember it was ambitious because in 2015, we don't have any idea about the mass production of the EV. But the Thai government mentioned that they want to be the production base for electric vehicle. That's why uh, the policy is quite consistent from one product success and then to another products and then to the, the new product. And we have the EV board. EV board is the National Electric Vehicle Promotion Committee to promote, uh, how I say, to design the policy, to make EV affordable, to make EV com competitive to the ICE, and to attract the foreign car makers, which of yours, it is uh, Chinese car makers. And now we have this, that's why in summary, so this is what uh, Justin and I, we have uh, come to this conclusion, the viable auto automotive space was the ingredient. The lesson for this is that the supply side development in Thailand has been rooted in Thailand in that period. And this is the still question mark, like how to scale up and how to catch up with the, the global trend of the uh, carbon neutrality. So this is the promotion of the NEV.